Hey guys, it's Keith, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors. We're ready to for the grand finale, or at least the beginning thereof. That's what this chap, this section of the story is called, is the grand finale. We're going to be doing Enduring Resolve at Gerudo Desert, which I will be quick to criticize as being the fact that, like, that's we're at Gerudo Desert again. That that's that's the first mission of Ganondorf's story. So that means that 100% of Ganondorf's missions, all three of them are places, are missions you do elsewhere in the story. So that entire section's like just sort of inserted. I wouldn't be surprised if this was an afterthought. Like at the end of Valley, you do the Valley of Sears epilogue, Shining Beacon, and your action summons Ganondorf. And then they're probably like, oh God, we gotta go beep Ganondorf. So they did the ending story. And then they probably realized, well, Ganondorf, how do we make, we, Ganondorf doesn't feel like a credible threat in this case. Maybe we should have gone back, and maybe we should have Ganondorf be badass. So then they made these three missions where Ganondorf goes to, th and they're like, oh, it won't be that big of a deal. We'll just use three levels that already exist. And that's what they did. They used three levels that already exist to have three Ganondorf fights to make him feel powerful so that this ending feels like a bigger deal. Because otherwise it feels like Ganondorf comes out of nowhere because he wasn't in anywhere in the main story aside from a few cutscenes. That's what I think happened in the game design anyway, because... I find it very peculiar that literally all of the missions in Ganondorf's story are places that you fight in other missions anyway. Anyway, our selectable missions, uh, characters for this game are Sheik, Lana, uh, Zelda, and uh, Link. I think I'm I'm inevitably going to be playing as Link in the final mission, right? So I think I'll play one of my lesser played characters just to mix things up. So I think let's play Lana probably. So let's check in on Lana's stats because I didn't do this. In oh, that's not Lana. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong blue person. All right, how are you doing on badges real quick? Just wanna level, I, I always go in and spend all my points that I got from the previous mission to just level up whoever I'm about to play in the new mission. It just seems like a more or less logical way of handling things. So nothing left to do, so I'll just put whatever I can into training dojo. Yay! She leveled once. That wasn't, that was kind of unimpressive. Who's really low level in this group? 20, 20, 20. Isn't, isn't, yeah, Impa's low level. I'll level, I'll level her, her a bit. Just because. Spending those rupees. I don't believe in saving. I'm not a responsible adult. I'm a child with impulse control problems. Yeah, she's still really, really low level. <laughs> anyway, grand finale, Enduring Resolve. Let's get this started. Playing, playing as Lana. Two characters to pick from. Let's, I used, I've used the sorcery before. Let's use the spear. I don't think I've actually ever used this weapon before. I think I unlocked it last time I played as her, and then haven't played as her since, of course. Since the sentence was last time I played as her, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Ganondorf had assembled all three pieces of the Triforce. With its unlimited might, he summoned ever greater hordes of monsters. Seeing that the battle was won, Ganondorf vanished from sight. When Zelda learned of the Demon King's disappearance, she saw a thin ray of hope. If the remaining Hyrulean army could defeat Zant and Girahim in their master's absence, perhaps there was a chance. Taking the fight to the enemy's stronghold in Gerudo Desert, Zelda was determined to end the war before the day was through. Alright, so let's get this final battle started. The start of the final battle, starting start... Prequel, beginning, first half, something like that. Back to Gerudo Desert. I made a horrible mistake, I used my water magic. This is our last chance to save Hyrule from the darkness. We must defeat Gant Zant and Girahim. I just made it realize, I picked the character that does like, uh, I make quite an enemy. Your wounds won't even heal if, if you have a thousand ages. The enemy's strength is overwhelming. If even one of us flees, the battle will be lost. Hello, giant man. Oh god, he has a lot of hit points. Okay. We're fine, aren't we, Link? Oh, okay, so I need to look for that weak spot where his belly flops, obviously. No worries, I can protect the keep. I use a completely ridiculous slingshot ability. Awesome. Careful. Ooh, it's gonna keep going. Oh, weak spot! Oh, I missed it. Fine, we must focus on taking down gear him of the southern desert. God damn, it's, a. Uh, it's relatively difficult to exploit the uh, exact spot where they're weak. All right, but be careful. The desert heat will sap your strength. Defeat gear him. Oh, he's still not down either, is he? All right, come on, weak spot. Oh, go, 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 go. I was expecting my attack to stun him a little bit. Someone, Link needs help. The monsters are taking advantage of the heat exhaustion. Oh, no. 
Oh no, Link, why? Why can't you just defend yourself? The moment I get these characters, they suck. Remember when they were like impossibly powerful a moment ago when I wasn't on their team? <laughs> oh, the desert is taking a toll on them. Minions, show them no mercy. No, oh, god, I'm, oh, ah, I completely missed my spot. You do not cover very much ground when you dash. But anyway, what I was getting at earlier is that I, I was realizing, oh, I just, I just chose to play as someone who has plant and water and ice-based attacks in the desert. We did the play, oh god, I thought he was done. That's what I get for, I was trying to punish his weak spot. Completely fucked that up. Oh, he's about to attack me. I can defend myself, though, for a moment. Tree powers! I bet you weren't expecting a tree in the desert! Oh, friend? Where is he? He's way over there. Uh, bow shot! Can I even hit him from here? I probably can't. Oh, he's fleeing. Is he gonna disappear? Huh? Is Gear I'm running away? Gear him. You can't escape me. I'm faster than you. Something seems off. Should we hunt down gear him? Maybe I can kill him before he gets anywhere, and then any plan he's going for will fail. How about that? Does that sound fun? Also, I'm losing hearts fast. Holy shit. They really drive the difficulty up in these later levels by just making you lose hearts very quickly. <laughs> Instead of having the AI be any harder, or like the scenario be harder. Granted, there's not a lot of places, ways to make scenarios harder in Dynasty Warriors games, because you mostly just go into big open field and hit people with weapons a lot. <laughs> Come on, gear him. Just go down. I just want you to die before you get to wherever you're trying to go, so that you don't spring whatever trap you're clearly trying to do. Since they're all like, Gear him! Something seems off! Should we pursue him? And stuff like that. Right after I finish you off, I need to go heal. Gear him! You're not even fighting back! You're really committed to this whole, like, trying to run away thing, aren't you? Well, I can exploit this. Come on. Oh wait, he's not taking damage anymore. What's this bullshit? What?! I can't even outsmart the game by noticing the problem and fixing it? He's just, he's, oh, I'm not gonna follow him then. He's gonna spring a trap that does damage to me, probably. Oh, hello, friend. There we go, Baba's down. There's another one. Let's look for healing items around here. Clearly, I don't wanna work with Gear him, because I don't wanna chase Gear him, because he's just gonna casually, uh, he's invincible, then I don't wanna fall for whatever trap he has. What are you doing? Do you ignore me? Am I not fascinating enough for you? I just pummeled you into submission for like the last three minutes. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck your bullshit scripted comments that aren't in any way reflecting what's going on around you. <laughs> it's a little frustrating. That was a fun attack. I, bun I like bundled all the enemies together into one spot. One, two, is it three attacks? Yeah, it is. You do three attacks and then you do that. Yeah, you use water to group everyone together so you can pummel them. I need this. I need the healing. There we go. Five and a half quarter hearts. Whoa! Ooh! I have a I have a Deku leaf attack. That's awesome. All right, so let's try let's try five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't, can't follow that up with a power attack. So that's the end of the combo. Still, that's fun. I have a I have a fair amount of attacks. I was misjudging. I thought I'd already done the the three hit the the, the three hits then a power attack combo, but it turns out I was wrong. There they go. So Oasis has been captured. Does that mean I can use this? Is this place gonna make me? Oh God! I just hit explosives. That was dumb. Huh, it seems as if we control the oasis, the desert will be no problem for us. An oasis re resides in the northern desert as well. You can take refuge from the desert there. So if I take, so I've done, so by doing this, does the desert no longer hurt me? Because I think it was draining my hearts the whole time, is what I assume was happening. Since I was, it, it was going down, but I wasn't fighting. I thought it, I thought it was going to just make us weaker, because it sounded like they were saying that, the, that taking over the desert was reducing the number of hearts that uh, Link had. But I think they just meant that it was hurting people over time. Is that what I assume they meant? Or maybe it has a different effect on me than it does on my allies. Since just hurting people over time in the allies' case is a little more annoying because I can't do as much about it directly. So maybe they... <gasps> Hiccup? <laughs> maybe they handle it slightly differently there. Just trying to take this key. There we go, the Muso attack helped a lot more. My normal combos were not being very effective at wiping out the hordes of enemies. Lana doesn't have... she's not very efficient, is she? I guess that, that ice attack's probably decent. But yeah, she's not... she has not very efficient at clearing out large areas from enemies. She's, her strength clearly does not involve taking camps away. Judging from that warning, I'm guessing... I, 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 I didn't read it, but I think that, that was a warning saying one of my Goron friends is about to go down! But that's to be expected. They're kind of garbage. 
Uh, looking at my my pad real quick though, uh, Link and Zelda are both doing just fine. The Grand Captain being stupid is not something that I can fix, unfortunately. Man, this game probably feels a little better in co-op just because you can be more places at once. Uh, I, I feel a little crippled with the fact that I'm desperately trying to scramble everywhere and I can never be or get anywhere fast enough to actually take over bases and stuff like that to effectively control the battlefield or make things better for my party. So wherever I'm not, someone definitely seems to die. Link's in trouble? He's, he's doing okay. He's at 74. He's like 70% hit points. He's doing okay. Uh, it's one of the cool things about, Di about Samurai Warriors 4 actually is that you if you're playing solo, like obviously you can play the game in co-op, which is great. I mean, I'm doing that with Andrew on the sad games and we're having a lot of fun with that and people seem to like it. That's cool. But if you're playing uh, alone, you still get two characters and you can press the... Uh, you press the uh, start the options button to just switch between the two characters at a will, and so you can always send the other one to do some other objective. And they're both pretty. They're they're usually good at keeping themselves alive normally, but they also they're because they're in different parts of the map. They're, it's like being in two places at once because you can switch to the one that's more important at any given moment. So for example, I could take over this keep, and while I'm doing the slog that is trying to wipe out enough guys to get access to the keep boss and everything, I could have my other character heading to another keep. So right now, at this exact moment, instead of running around and then trying to figure out a new objective and running and then running somewhere and losing time, I, I could just immediately press uh, st I could immediately press options and just switch to the other guy who's already at the other keep and then just get right to doing another objective really quickly. It feels really cool being able being that effective at stuff. You got a piece of heart. Collect four heart pieces to increase your maximum hearts by one. Yeah, we're upgrading Mr. Miss Lana. I didn't even notice that she was, uh, I should have read that. I've been, I've been kind of ignoring the heart piece indicators. But, uh, when, you, when you're picking a mission, it shows a heart. And, uh, if you're, if you're, if you're the person shown next to that heart, that means that that character, when clearing the level, can, has the ability to find a heart container somewhere in there. Which is good for long-term upgrades for that character. And if you're really good, if you pay attention, you'll play the characters that ha can get heart pieces there in order to, uh, upgrade your overall roster which will, will should be helpful in the in the extended life of the metagame oh the keep boss is already out interesting nope attack the deku baba damn it fine i'll get closer now attack the deku baba there we go my, my distance shouldn't have the having all the enemies in front of me shouldn't have mattered because they were all short and i'm tall and the deku baba's even taller so i just shoot over them but uh it, it looks like your Elena shoots in a straight line anyway, so you have to clear. You have to get a clear line of sight to the enemy, even when you clearly can see them over all the enemies. All right, this keep, keep boss is taken down, so this place is mine. That's right. Now we have the northern desert. Phew! What a relief! If we capture an oasis, we won't have to worry about the desert heat. They're definitely careful to remind us of that in case we forgot already. <laughs> Come on, weak spot. There we go. We got it. Weak, weak spot exploited. Shoot them full of seeds. That's how we do it. That is how we do it. Take him down. Nope. Okay. He's doing a Muso attack, so let's respond with one of our own, which will finish after his and do damage. And also prevent us from taking damage from his. Although my hearts did go down quite a bit, didn't they? Maybe he still hit me a bit. There's Link. I assume that means Link's doing fine then now. So I'm right here. And there's like hardly any enemies around because I pretty much solved all of his problems single-handedly. But never mind me, I'm just the adorable little sorceress girl that's not nearly as powerful as the hero of time, or or whatever your hero title is in this given game. Presumably not the hero of time, because that's the one from uh, Ocarina, which is one of the worlds we went to, which means it's not our world? Oh wait, that was time travel though, wasn't it? That was multiple times of our own period, because there were legendary locate. Yeah, I think, that, I think this must be all in one time continuity, because I think Zelda was referring to the various locations as being part of the story. Like the conjoined story. I wonder if Hyrule Warriors is considered to be part of the story now. Like if this is just another generation uh, in the ongoing saga that all these uh, games are sort of conjoined into. Because I think I've heard that Skyward and uh, yeah, Twilight, Skyward, Ocarina, I think that's the same storyline. Honestly, I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, I don't... the whole thing where you try to make all of the Zelda games make sense together seems dumb to me because I'm pr I'm pretty sure that they had no plan when they started or even along the way like they weren't they weren't I don't think they're really making games being like 
All right, we're gonna carefully craft this as being within the time, the timeline of this other game we made. And it's like, no, they just made a game. They just make Zelda games arbitrarily because people want another Zelda game and that they like making Zelda games. And then the uh, the connections are just kind of arbitrary after that point, I think. And they just tried to patchwork connect thing, connect everything in, in the aftermath just because people wanted it. It's like, ah, uh, well. Well, um, we'll make times, uh, timelines where the hero of time defeats Ganondorf and where he's defeated by Ganondorf and stuff like that. And then there's like a third timeline. I don't even remember what that one is. Like, oh, there's one where he's where he uh, defeats him as a child, and one he de where, one where he defeats him as an adult, and one where he defeats him uh, where he loses to him. I think that's how it works. There's like three timelines. It's very confusing. I'm assuming that the CDI games don't have a timeline at all. <laughs> they just try to pretend those didn't happen. Take this guy down! Fatty McFattyton with his amazingly obvious telegraphed uh, weaknesses. There we go. Taken out. And that's a. I can't go in here. There's nothing over here. Okay. Figure if I take some of these outposts, they can't win. I can establish a better foothold so that stuff doesn't just arbitrarily get taken back from me the moment I take it. I realize Gear him's down there and he wants me to fight him. I'm just. I'm not in a hurry to fall for his trap. That's a, obviously a trap. All right, hello, gear him. Oh, he, he's still very low on hit points. What do you know? Oh, look who's still low on hit points, gear him. How about you come play with me? Oh, Gira, Gira, gear him. Come here, buddy. You want to play? Hey, did I beat him? Is he dead? I killed him. I killed him without going inside. Did I win? Do I win the whole mission now? <laughs> What happens now? Gearm has been defeated, but that seemed too easy. Yeah, it seemed like a trap. That's why I'm avoiding going inside that building. Zant has appeared. Oh, the, did all the gates close? How do I get out of here? Oh, they closed the gates? Those sneaky fuckers. Well, this cap, this outpost is mine, so you're not spawning anyone here. Yep, so just by going past that gate, I'm already trapped anyway. Okay, so I just have to go around and drop off that down that ledge over there. We'll be fine. Oh, I missed some dialogue. I I'm sure it was really obvious, like, Zant's here! We've been trapped! We have to get out! <laughs> Becoming isolated in the desert is dangerous. Somehow you must make it back to us. I'll, I'll be fine, guys. It'll be cool. I'm sure I won't die horribly. Tree powers, though. Hello. Okay. We're down to just the last, last spellcaster. Okay, okay. Oh shit, I missed, a I missed another dialogue point, didn't I? Oh, there's a yellow team now. It's so difficult to read while fighting. I bet those doors will open if we manage to defeat enemies in the keep. Once again, I just, I really wish this game had voice acting. I, I want every Musou game to have voice acting, and not just voice acting, but I want it to have English voice acting. Uh, there are so many monsters, but we have to make it through somehow. Oh, that's proxy. Do not do it even close to the voice, whatever. <laughs> Uh, it'd be great to have English voice acting in every game in the, that this company ever makes. Ah, but there are just two enemies. Too many enemies. I could really use some help out here. It'd be great if every game in the series the, from this company had English voice acting just because they, they spam you with text. There's no time to die. I've got to rejoin my friends. Like, it's, it's already difficult to do comment. Like, for me as a commentator, it's hard to do commentary while also reading lines out loud over and over again, but it's also really confusing. These monsters have us totally surrounded. Link, do you have a plan or something? It's also really confusing to try to do dialogue. Oh no, Link needs help! It's hard to fight enemies that require specific timing and evasion and careful gameplay while also reading the story. So it's kind of just bad. Like, let's throw everything at the player at once, so it's kind of bad gameplay. Uh, the enemy is near. Protect the base by closing the village gate. Oh no. By closing that gate, they just isolated themselves, so now everyone is isolated. Soldiers protecting the Northern Oasis, return to the base immediately! It must be protected! Are they going to leave the Northern Oasis completely abandoned? Defeat the Shield Moblin? I'm about to take over this uh, keep over here, which is my, my goal right now. Just want to establish some strength. Link, don't give up now! You have to break through the enemy's formation! Link, uh, Link is about, at about 40% hit points right now. I think I have enough time to finish off the keep boss. But it's not ideal. Oh, apparently... Apparently, uh, Proxy just gave him a morale boost by saying, Don't die! Do good, I guess! In that... <laughs> That apparently makes you realize, oh, shit, I was gonna die. I should not do that. Like, I have a whole new purpose in life because this glowing ball said, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Friendship is magic, you guys. Uh, <laughs> that is the 
the trope of Japanese stuff that was like, but your friends are supporting you, you can't lose now. <laughs> I don't watch very much anime. It kind of blurs together for me a bit, although my friend Andrew is obsessed with it, and he will give me so much... I forgot this is the Birdman! <laughs> I always see... When you see his portrait only, it's really easy to forget that he's the weird bird-looking dude, because, uh... Up close, you just see the weird- you see his armored head, or you see his uh, weird tentacle face. If you defeat me, I'll- it'll allow you to rejoin your friends, though we both know how that ends. Oh, he teleported away. Uh, Link's dying. Uh-oh. Is Zant trying to avoid a direct fight? He must be stalling. Hurry, defeat him immediately. This is a bit of a toughie, because, uh, we're in the progress of losing Link here, so I need to hurry up and defeat Zant. Zant- Zant doesn't even have a morale boost or anything. He should be easy. Oh my god, he must be from Twilight Princess, because that was some dark look- like Shadow of the Colossus looking stuff. He does kind of have that look, yeah. Which would mean that Girahim must be from, uh... Does that- I think that means Girahim's from, uh, Skyward Sword? I played the levels against these guys, so I should know this, but I already forgot, because I haven't played the said games. I'm pretty sure it's got Girahim's from Skyward Sword. He's got the more colorful appearance, and that's the colorful game where Twilight was the, uh... Uh, Twilight was Zelda's grunge phase. Oh god, get out of here. Get out of Dodge immediately. He tried to kill me with a totem. I'll show him wood. Lols. Mine's bigger. <laughs> Take him down. The, Hy the Hyrulean forces are helpless before the power of darkness. Perish in the desert. I am losing lots of hit points. Oh, and he teleported away again. Okay, let's go hunting for hit points. There's one. There's an outpost captain. Uh, Link is not losing any more hit points. He's still at the same spot he was before, so they're set, they're trying to act like there's a there's a tension here as far as time goes. But I think Link's no longer in danger right now. He's just low on hit points from the previous danger. I think I'm probably benefiting from the fact that I cleared out the map over there of its primary uh, danger danger spots. So I mostly just need to de deal with this at my own pace. Let's go into magic mode and see if I can take out Zant fast enough. Probably, that, probably want to be nice and close to him when I run out of magic, too, so that it does the super attack on him. I don't remember what this character's super attack is. I guess we'll find out right now. Oh, just lots of tentacles. Oh, man. That tree hentai, though. Oh, he teleported away again. Because of course he did. What else does he do? Hello, Zant. I see you. I'm going to take this quick moment to take your outpost away from you so that there's no more spawners of enemies in this entire zone. Which pretty much permanently makes it mine, unless just stray dudes t manage to take it back from me. Alright, where are you, Zant? Hello, friend! Psych! I have a tree! Bet you didn't plan on that! Oh, he's still alive. He just barely survived that. You do surprising little damage against these guys. Uh-oh, they took the northern, uh, oasis. That's bad. That is more likely to actually kill, uh, Link over time. No, this cannot be the end! Is it- well, it's probably not the end. I don't think we generally murder people in these games. I think they just get sealed. Their souls get sealed again because they're evil. Something is wrong. The enemy refuses to relent. Even with Zant and Gearham defeated. Our tr I fear our troubles are just beginning. Hurry and regroup with the others. Uh, that's... They're, they're not surrendering because there's, there's probably Ganondorf here. Surprise! <laughs> that seems like the logical conclusion here. We are in Garuda Desert. Like, this is their home base, last I checked. Hello, de hello, robe man. Enjoy this little, like, tree lobotomy I'm shoving up your robe. Yeah. He is actually surprisingly hardy. Oh, careful, get behind him. Oh, I'm not even locked onto him. That's why I was getting confused. I'm like, why isn't this, why am I not moving right? I thought I was locked onto him, but, but I was not. My mistake. Come back here. Whoop, behind you. Ah, give me your weak spot. There it goes. Good boy. Ah, oh, I didn't quite exploit it. Come on. Oh yeah, here we go. You're screwed. There's the weak spot. Free <laughs> it's a freaking seed gatling gun, because that's fair. <laughs> Let's uh, take these outposts as I go along. I assume the moment I get to Link, some other event is going to start spawning. So I'd prefer to take out these captains while I can. Hello, friend. Down you go. Yep. And while we're here, I can go after the keep. Hey, Braz. Link can't take much more of this. Won't somebody save him? Link's at like 25% hit points. I probably... Yeah, I'm gonna probably prioritize Link as soon as I take this oasis. 
because uh, relatively soon he's going to be very dead, probably. I'm not going to risk going after the other outpost, though I'd prefer to. So I'd like to just I'd like to just turn off all enemy spawns if I can. That make th that make my ch my uh, control over the battlefield all the more better. Granted, at any point, this, as has has been shown in this campaign so far, this game the campaign has a lot of bullshit moments where the game will just take all power from you anyway, even if you do carefully take over the whole field. But like, well, scripted event now. This is all ours now. I'm like, oh, you, f I would would have not bothered with that if I knew that. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's get to Link real quick and fill up his health meter if we can. Oh, he's got two mini bosses on him. Grant my wish. Help! Everybody! Well, we win. Jesus, I came to help Link, and I think I helped Link, because every person ever is now here to help. Let's kill Mr. Jiggly over here. Oh, get out of here. Back off, wait for the body slam. Exploit weakness. All right, back off again, wait for the body slam. Weakness. There we go. So predictable. I am saved. Thanks, everybody. Something, something. I didn't see the rest. Sorry. <laughs> the dialogue just never stops. <laughs> and it's, it's, they don't give you a lot of time to read it either, even though they like they know that you're trying to do a super play a super chaotic game on the screen. Ganondorf's forces have received reinforcements. Have we ever confirmed that Ganondorf's in this fight yet? I assume that he is, because he's got to be. But that fucker, they took my Gapless from me. Our chances of winning are very low. As long as I'm around, you can handle any enemy, right, brothers? Apparently, Daimura turned into a shitty, goofy impersonation. Hey, don't get me involved again. No, I'm kidding. This will be fun. Let's tear them. Let's tear them apart. In my head, I'm starting to imagine that. Uh, I'm starting to imagine that the Twilight Princess character sounds like uh, Sarah from uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh God! Oh God! Everyone's trying to hit me. We've got enemies coming from the north. Finder keepers. Let leave them to me. Is that these guys up here? Oh, Finders Keepers. That's what they said. I thought they said Finder Keepers. It was like the name of the enemy. I'm like, oh, what, what was that? I haven't heard of that one yet. They're coming from the south. That's no big deal. What are a few more enemies? Ha! <laughs> I just, I'm ready for him to say, you're a meshy. <laughs> Even without gear him or Xanthan command, command, the enemy forces are surprisingly well organized. Because there's, because Gandorf's here. They must be getting orders from somewhere else. They're getting orders from Ganondorf. Possibly, we have other for we have, uh, have to focus our efforts on the enemies marching straight for us. Wow, there's still more fat guys running around with weird thongs. Does, that, that just looks like a chafes. Oh no, I almost lost the weak spot. There we go. Still got it though. Fin finish him. There we go. Oh, missed it. They broke through the gate. There were just too many of them. What gate? Where are you right now, anyway? They just won't stop coming. Someone's got to be commanding them from behind the scenes. Oh my God! Could they, they, could they slam us over the head anymore with that, those statements? Defeating Gearhim and Sand actually increased the number of enemies. How can that be? Almost as if they're being led by somewhere else. You know, Gearhim and Sand were kind of acting weird later. I mean, weirder than usual. It's almost as if there's someone else involved. Could it be? Could it be they're more merely imposters? The real ones must be hiding somewhere. Just every line of dialogue. Just it just. <laughs> They take so long to explain something so basic. I must remain here to protect the base, find and defeat the real gear him and Zant. By the way, how is that a reasonable assumption? Like, <laughs> we already know Ganondorf's here because Ganondorf attacked Lana. Master, if I'm not mistaken, you are the true hero of Hyrule. I'm not your master. I'm 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 not Link. You picked the wrong. You're talking about the wrong person. Or do you have multiple masters? Oh, you slutty bitch. <laughs> uh. How is that a reasonable assumption to be like, oh, wait, these things are happening weirdly. That must mean that they're, they're duplicates. There's copies of them. I'm like, wouldn't the reasonable assumption to be to say, there's someone else here controlling the troops that's just keeping themselves hidden. Like Ganondorf, the leader. 
which we've already established exists and is free because Ganondorf has been attacking. Oh, I accidentally activated my magic, didn't I? Didn't I? Well, that happened. I guess I'll just finish these guys off. At least I'm surrounded by a few mini bosses to go after. Oh, you in trouble, bro. You in real trouble. Seed launcher, motherfucker, followed by a crazy Musou attack. Jesus, 45 kills. There we go. Progress. Is the other guy still alive out here? Or did I get him too? He ran away a bit, didn't he? Must be hiding somewhere other than... They probably watched us from some safe vantage point this whole time. Like their base. That would be crazy, right? If they were in their base? Like leaders would be? Of a fight? Like oh, every fight ever? <laughs> it's like watching a... I'm getting a Dora the Explorer vibe from the dialogue right now, because they're almost like... They're, they set, it's, they're, 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 the characters are so stupid in a way that feels like they're being patronizing to me. Like, it feels like they're just being like, No, you're the smart one. You figure it out. <laughs> We're too dumb to know these obvious things. It's like, I'm just, can you find the map? <laughs> hmm. It looks like they become aware of our little plan. Really, they're right. Their complete leap of logic was correct. It's almost as if they read the script. No matter. Something, something attack. Massive attack on the allied base. <laughs> Did you read the script too? Sorry, I, I really like Plinkert reviews. <laughs> Go to RedLetterMedia.com if you haven't before. That's a, that's a treat. <laughs> Everyone dies. All right, where's the ba- Oh, running away. Don't run away from me. I'm trying to take out the named officers to get, get battlefield control. By the way, this game has no interest in locking onto that guy. Goddesses, they're targeting our base. Hurry up and take Yerim and Zant down. Okay. The big Yerim and Zant immediately. It just highlights every base in the planet. I have to take this one again. I already took this one. Fine. Explosion! That's an efficient way of taking out some crowds. Yep, there went a lot of health meter for this base. Relatively effective. Hello, friends. Don't mind me. Just clearing a path. As I am wont to do. Don't question things. I mean, really, your entire life led up to this moment. You should be proud. You got attacked by a blue anime girl. That's pretty sweet, I guess, right? Other people just die of, like, dysentery and shit. That's boring. Hunt down Gearham and Death. And Zen. Yep, I understand. That's the objective. Take out this keep boss. Hopefully this place will stay mine this time. Maybe. Wow. This is a surprisingly hardy keep boss. Oh! Oh my god, I just punched my, my uh, microphone. I'm so sorry. Keep boss. Go ahead and stop living. There we go. He's take. Oh my god. That attack keeps going. You can do like a series of uh, Deku Leaf swoops. That's neato. See, who are the enemies that are out here in the open anyway? Are those Gearham and Zant? No, they're randoms. It's a robe guy. Hello, robe man. Try to take the battlefield for me. No, sorry. Hey, come back here. So, are you a, are you an enemy that goes that dies when I kill you, or are you an enemy that's getting replaced continuously until I take out Gearham and Zant? Maybe I should just focus on Gearham and Zant. I'm not sure though, because this game has punished me repeatedly for just going. There's multiple missions so far where I've gone blindly for the objective and nothing else, and I, I lost those attempts because they were, you clearly have to take over battlefield control in many cases. Hey, look, there's a cuckoo. Why wasn't the bad guy hit the cuckoo? I want to see what happens then. Mr. Big Poe, you want to play with the cuckoo? You want to fly over the cuckoo's nest? <laughs> that was a dumb joke, and I'm owning it. <laughs> no shame. I'm gonna head south for this base down here. Particularly since they're, uh, they have allies fighting there anyway. Where's Link? Because Link is dying. He's still very low on hit points. Despite being saved a few times. I thought that me saving him was gonna make him heal, because it's usually what happens, but not in this case. Let's clear out some little foes around here. Come on. There we go. We're just about. Oh, Keep Boss is not here yet. We still have to smack someone. Come on. End a few goblin lives, ruin their families, you know. Just the basics. The usual. Nothing to feel bad about. Exodia! Obliterate! Right? Everyone's just kind of floating. Oh, they're fighting. Okay. <laughs> they're getting hit. <laughs> it was just a little peculiar just to see a bunch of people floating around the tree. So just to double check here. Battlefield info. I don't... Yeah, I don't have any information about Zant and their locations. Where's Link, exactly? Link's all the way back in base. 
so he should be fine. He has, he has increased morale. It's too bad none of the, the people around there seem to be doctors that could help him recover from his horrible wounds that had been inflicted upon him in the, in the meantime. These guys ain't easy! I mean, I'm having, I'm having an alright time with them. They're usually not even hitting me. I think the number one thing that's caused damage to me so far in this level has been the desert. And that's more or less taken care of at this point. Although they're trying to take the keep from me in the north side. Again. For some reason that one seems to be harder to, to uh, take over than the south one. Do the keep? Are Zant or Gear him here? Nope. They're probably just all the way back in the base. Let's cause some explosions. There we go. We'll have the keep boss in this location in no time. I wonder how many more times I'll have to take this keep before the fight ends. <laughs> so is Ganondorf not going to be in this fight? Is it really just going to be us taking care of Gearham and Zant, and maybe we have to take over Ganondorf in the entire next mission? Oh, I, I, grabbed, I grabbed that health for no good reason. It's hard. You just you compel you compulsively want to pick up shiny objects when they're around. <laughs> it's hard to just ignore them and be like, no, nope, I gotta I gotta save that for later. It's conservation, yo. Gotta be responsible adults and shit, I guess. Hey, you're not too bad at this battling thing. Going up north again, and of course they've taken the outposts from me again. You know what? Screw outposts. Outposts always fall apart before you can ever fully take them anyway. It's very difficult to establish long-term control of outposts, because they're so easily destroyed by the enemy, it seems. Alright, there's gear him and Zan. Is Zan also- oh, Zan's also here, okay. That's less ideal. So you little worms finally found me, but how do you expect to win such a feeble army? Oh, have you had your fill of playtime? Good, because this ends now. Oh, that's adorable. They think they're people. Ha, if we beat you two, victory is ours. All right, let's go into magic mode. Wail on them for a little while. And then when we're at, have an opportunity, we'll use, a, we'll use the Muso attack to try to finish them off. Come on. Try to get on the other side of Gearham because maybe I can chain them back together. Nope, that's the end of my magic. Can't do anything else. Is he dead? Is he died yet? Oh, shit, that hurt. I'm gonna have to make a tree out of you now. It's very rude of you. Wow. All that comboing did a lot of damage, and that giant tree attack did not. <laughs> tree is significantly less effective, apparently. Let's, oh god, let's get out of here. They're doing crazy magic. They're doing crazy magic. That's way worse than sane magic. Because it's crazy. You know what I mean, right? It's like... They do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Because they're so crazy, they think that's actually the definition of insanity. I know, right? That's nuts. They're totally wrong. But how do you reason with them? They're crazy people. Oh god. Stop it. No. Ah, stop, 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 stop. Stop it. Fucking hurts. It's hard to fight two guys at once in this situation, because they can both just pop out crazy attacks whenever they feel like it. Nope. Oh, come on. Finish Gear Him. Wow, Gear Him is just persisting, isn't he? I want him to stop living. Am I, am I currently suffocating him to death with a globe of water on his head? Because that's horrifying. That's brutal. Please stay down. Please stay down and don't do that link at Oh no. How can such misery befall me? This world belongs to my master. Zant remains. We've got to take him down. Please don't do... Please, for the love of God, don't do the Zelda Link thing where, they, where I have to defeat them both in sequence or they get back up. Although I might... Have Zant low enough to, to reasonably take care of that. I don't know. Oh, looks. I don't think I see Gerahim's body lying around. I'm not about to check because I'd have to re disengage from the fight. But I think he despawned, which means he won't respawn the way the Zelda and Link were, at least. Oh, just one. My health bar disappeared. That means the fight's over. What? You? How do you possibly conjure up victory from nothing? Also, horrible screeching sounds. Horrible, horrible screeching sounds. Because I'm a fucked up bird monster. I'm, I should be fighting Godzilla, not Zelda. We defeated the army of monsters. A glimmer of light is returning to Hyrule. So it looks like I, I could have cut this fight shorter by just running straight into this base and killing them. Whoops. I, th I thought that the level was going to be a little more... I thought that was going to be a little more level than that. I, mis I misjudged. I artificially elongated this episode a bit by doing the long way. Whoopsie. Yeah, you look at my tree. Alright, it took a long time, partly because due to my fault, but hey, 
successful Lana playthrough of the, of the second to last level, third to last level, one of those. The next level is either going to be the second to last level or the actual last level. It's hard to judge how many levels fit on that screen, but we'll find out in a second here. All right, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's space for another level. I think that's the end of the screen right there. So, Ganon's Tower Grand Finale: Liberation of the Triforce. That's probably going to be the last episode of the series. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time when we go to Ganon's Tower.